Hey folks, welcome to this new multiplayer Let's Play of Stellaris. I'm Perry. And I'm Cap. And we've decided to, as the postmortem will say, move on from the previous one to start and test, you know, show off the new 1.72 Bradbury with, you know, the multiplayer changes. You know, the stability's been good for us, but, you know, there are also some bug, bug fixes and um, been, there have been significant game changes since the 1.5 one we were playing. So many reasons to start anew. And again. Well, it's, um, this is beta, so if something goes wrong, <laughs> no, that could be the reason. If something goes wrong and it hurts us, it's Wiz's fault. If something goes wrong and it helps us, it was a happy coincidence. Um, <laughs> so these are just a general. We'll we'll discuss the races here in a second. Um, our galaxy, it's a large galaxy with four spiral arms. Starting off with fourteen empires, no advanced AIs, just because we don't need the Mimbari in this game. Um, these were, and these numbers here are determined by die roll, so it's because that's just how I do things. <laughs> and then everything else is pretty much straightforward. Mm -hmm. So, then we've got, you know, regular DLCs attached, so we'll, we'll pop into the game now and discuss our species and our home worlds and yada yada. Complain, about, mm -hmm. Complain about how awful our starting positions are. <laughs> I've actually wondered what the worst possible starting solar system could be. And be... How about empty? Yeah, and that's what I'm thinking. It's like just your home world, nothing else. The... Yeah, I'm starting to look like something. Uh, come on, wait for players. There we go. There we go. So I'm I'm playing the Langostra Foundation, and we're a Renic monarchy. Um, we are the Langostra. We are using the new little crayfish lobster thingy for for the 1.7 patch. Um, and this will, if you're not part of the beta, this will appear in the game eventually. We are materialist pacifists. We are fanatic pacifists. So. Uh, odds of me fighting any offensive war is very small, but if you've watched most of my games, the odds of me f fighting an offensive war is very small. Um, <laughs> we, being lobsters, are from an ocean world because we're lobsters. Um, we're industrious conservationists because we live in the ocean and we don't want the crap rolling back down onto us. We're quick learners because, again, we live in the ocean. Uh, we don't like staying conformed to anything and... Uh, and we want to be left alone because, again, we're lobsters. So <laughs> <laughs> most of my explanations in this entire game will probably fall back to we're lobsters, and yet somehow we're in space. So I leave that explanation for greater minds than mine. So Keb, your turn. Yeah, I'm playing with these space boxes again. Um, this time I'm going to call themselves the Bark with the Bark Blessed Confederation, basically BBC. Um, we are a fanatic spiritualist and egalitarian uh, with the uh, idealistic foundation and uh, beacon of liberty as civics uh, as for the species itself uh, we are conformists we are communal and we're slow breeders that's about it the conformists that take their time we'll yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So without further ado... Time to complain about your home system. I've actually got a reasonably nice one, so I'm not too worried about uh, that. Oh, yeah, I would wait until you actually scan things. Well, yeah, well, there is that bit there that, yeah, it's... It's great until it sucks otherwise. I, I fully understand <laughs> how that works. Uh, we're gonna go fast. Let's see... Oh my! I didn't think terraforming could even spawn at the, as the first tech, but that's... That's not a bad one to get early. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that, even though it's take ages to research. That's, on, that's a, bit, a little bit too well, cool to pass. How, how long is it gonna take to... Actually, it was really cool in my... Uh, in my Shadow Adams campaign that I'm running, I had the... Um, the Holy the holy Rebels that started early, that start early on, and... Uh, how to fight them, and eventually I ended up, you know, wiping them out. And one of the techs I got off the debris from their ships was the particle lance. And it's like I'm sitting there; I can't even build destroyers yet, and I have the particle lance sitting partially completed in my uh, in my research queue. It sat there for a very long time. So I've got my That's initial starting leader. Starting leader, charismatic, and home in the sky. Oh, okay, that's okay.
Is that even possible for me? Oh, that's right. Oh, uh, if you reform a government, can you change your civics? No, you can't. They're just disabled, don't they? There's, uh, okay. there's ability to change civics later, though. I don't know how. Yeah, you can tr you can change you can change civics. I just clicked on reform government and clicked on one of my civics and it down and off it popped. Oops. Well, I, I then clicked cancel, so the change didn't stick. <laughs> I'm silly, but not stupid. I, well, actually, I guess I could make the argument I'm a little of both, but we all have our hobbies. Ready to unpause? Or are we still uh, no, so, no, taking no, in no, the still going through everything. Still taking in everything. What do you want? Everything! Okay. Uh. I have no chance of pronouncing my ruler's name. No, okay. I guess I do. It's Queen Pandolf Leek Sedanica. Or didn't. Yeah. You know, yeah, Say that time. That, 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 oh, words. Say that ten times in a hurry. Um. Well, you have to actually say, you know, you can't stutter when you're saying that. So as a, as a lifelong stutterer, that's just, it's just the rules. Let's see. And I should also mention, this is going to be the first time I deal with factions. So that's, that's why I'm taking my time. I'm trying to look at the interface so I get some idea of what the heck that is going to be like. It's a much more interesting interface once there are factions. True enough, but still. Uh, da -da, that's true. Da -da. Okay, and uh, one last thing. I need to check the homeworld itself. And the governor. You are. Uh, that's good enough. Tile blocker, clear blocker. Yeah, good. Cost reduction for that. Uh, I do want to start with... I'm going to regret this, but I'm going to do that. There we go. Okay. Ready to unpause, I think. We are so doomed. Yes. Doomed, I tell you. Doomed. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot to do that too. What did you forget to do? Send out the Corvettes. Ah, oh, yes. Crown Princess Pandolf Lexid... Apparently my the heir to my throne is named after the current person on the throne. That's gonna get awkward. Three down, ten to go. Oh yeah, I should probably switch their fleet stances to evasive as well. Helps quite a bit on their survivability. You don't say. But I just did. Ah, come on, go here, survey. It's been so long since I played with hyperspace travel. Ugh. I love hyper lanes, they are so much fun to fight against. <laughs> yeah. Went to war with one recently in the. Uh... They had they had some outer colonies with a bunch of construction ships and and uh, 
and sign ships and whatever, and, and we went to war, and the, you know, they all retreated back towards their home system. Well, the problem is, along the jump lines with one of my systems that I'd taken with the Frontier Outpost, and I had a a, a military outpost there with a snare, so every sh as every one of the civilian ships arrived, it appeared next to the civilian in my military base and blown, got blown away. So I, f I felt bad for all the scientists who uh, contributed debris to my system. Five items left, only two things found so far in my system. Very sad. Let's see, where did I meet uh, the aliens? Ugh. Oh, there. Okay. Right next to Savannah World, too. Boo. Oh, you've already met neighbors? It looks like it. Being a high plane species, that's kind of bad. That's among the reasons why I don't generally play hyperland species. Let's see, are they that's large enough to cover this jump point? No. I generally prefer jump drives, but you don't get them at the beginning. Probably gonna be within his borders. Boo. Still. On the vague chance he doesn't actually contact me, let's try to get the planet. It's worth the gamble. We'll probably contact us the second we try to colonize it, if we, if we got that far. Are you sending a colony ship? No, 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 are you crazy? I can't afford that yet. Yeah, it's. Well... System survey complete. It's what what confused me more than my normal levels of confusion. Let's see. Uh, oh dear, where? Okay, that's fine. Uh, that's gonna kind of okay. Never mind. I just found an automate the automated dreadnought. Well, you know nothing's coming that direction. Like going back to the the single player game I've been playing was actually quite cool. There was this whole section of actually relatively wealthy systems that hadn't been colonized, because the, the major power that was adjacent to them was a hyperlane species, and in between those systems and the, and the empire were the crystal the crystal home worlds or the crystal home stations. So they couldn't get past them to survey them and colonize them. So it's like ooh a little pocket that I can claim. Um, wait, what the heck? Okay. Uh... The Guardians of Zanam. What the heck is that? That sounds like a spin off of a Marvel movie. Complete. Uh, some very angry aliens, at the very least. We run away from the darn dreadnought and run into the Guardians of Zanam, whatever the heck they are. But they kind of didn't like me being there. Yeah, unfamiliar with who they are. Yeah, that's why I was wondering. Uh... We had a 4K fleet. Ouch. 4K We're fleet. Also hiding behind the Guardian, and there's another Empire in the other direction too. Great. Well, it's a good thing you didn't choose a pacifistic species. You don't say. Ooh, I found a planet with hallucinogen. This is 
small savannah word, but still. Oh, well. what's the worst that could happen? I'd rather not say, because that will probably make it happen. <laughs> yeah, that's a, actually, given our experience all these years, that's a very safe, safe assumption. Finally found some minerals. Unfortunately, they're on a plant I want to colonize, so don't know where I want to build a station. Uh, 40% fatal chance. Go for it. Nothing bad can possibly happen. Oh, that's such a dead crew. Situation log updated. What is this? A ruined sentry array. Ooh, that's incredibly nice to find. It is unfortunately on the other side of one of the empires, so. Yes, but it's a very. It's. I haven't seen a ruined one of those yet. Although I just found one. <laughs> okay. Was it in a? Do you have the sister name for that? Was it was uh, you, that ruined sentry array? Was that in system number eleven? Construction. Uh, oh, dang it. One second. Pop ups. Uh, yep, it was. Hello. Well, then we're nearby each other. That's strange. I chose distributed. We shouldn't be sitting next to each other like this. It's actually very disappointing. Uh. Actually, very disappointing. And I just got blue lasers for free. Not a bad investment. Um, sure, let's be friends, my friend. I'll kill you later. Um, okay. Okay, uh, no point in serving that one then. Anomaly found. So I guess we, yeah. Uh, so are, are you the ones right next to me then? I appear to be the Empire rest of you, yeah. Rest of you. Star 34. Actually, I'm in star zero. Well, then there's one guy behind between us, I think. Yeah, I see 34. Is, 34 is just outside my range to the east. It's kind of strange. Oh, there we go. I was wondering, well, why can't I see you then? And now I think I just found you. I'm still disappointed yeah, after zero. I'm still disappointed in selecting a distributed starting like that for us. Put us right next to each other. <laughs> I don't think it distributes between players. Well, no, it was, it was starting player positions or whatever. But anyways, I'll have to go back and look at it. <laughs> uh, if you're really discontent about it, you can always restart. Hey, you found my home system. Uh-huh. No, I mean, I'm not dis discontented enough with it to restart. It's just... I'm just... Conf I don't know. Well, if, if it pleases you, that sentry array is closer to you than me, so you'll get it. Well, it's not like I can fight you over it. <laughs> I got rid of that option. That, of course, also means you block the high plane out to the other arm. <laughs> Maybe. Ah, grumble. I can always offer you vassalization and you can always accept. <laughs> uh, there we go. I'm, I'm willing to make that sacrifice for you. And there's the dude between us. Uh, he's going to block my path anymore. Constitutional dictatorship. 
He is a xenophobe and fanatic authoritarian. Lovely. He's not gonna like either of us. The real question is what hyperspace technology does he use? Construction complete. Uh oh. Uh oh. What did you, what did I encounter? Alien vessels. Uh, combat drones and an ancient destroyer. That sounds moderately painful. I'll say the inner arm there is rather hostile. It's sounding like we've just got a generally hostile galaxy so far. Uh, okay, it was... How many? Okay, that's fine. Uh, well, there's no real point scouting the area behind you, because I'm never going to get there. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I will present challenges for you getting there, yes. Construction complete. Let's see. Can't survey that planet. Just on the wild chance we can actually secure it. And here, can is this outside of space? It is outside of space. Good. And where are you? There. Survey this star next. This is going to be a bit interesting. I'll, I'll say. I'll say that. And then I'll say this. And then I'll say both. Oh, there we go. Um, da, da. System survey complete. Do, 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 do. Well, the gay ga game gave me two nearby enemies, and they also gave me free blue lasers. I think it's trying to tell me something. You got a fight <laughs> for your right? party? Yeah. At least I'm not going to eat them this time. What? Well, yeah, I mean, it went straight to your it went straight to your thighs last time. <laughs> okay, hello there. Uh, Onaban warriors, xenophobe, and fanatic militarist. Yeah, they're gonna be <laughs> good neighbors. I can almost hear the face palming you, you make each time you meet a new friend. And they also use the Darth Vader icon of the species. Not a good sign. And I found an alien toy factory. Well, that's a guarantee every game you play. I don't think we've played one yet. We haven't found a toy factory. Which I like my toys. Yeah, there's nothing good I could say at this point that won't get me slapped. Which is, in and of itself, quite the trick.
let's see, where do I want to put you? That's too good to pass up. Did you set the timers today, by the way? I'm watching it. We're just now actually at the uh, <laughs> at our regular mark, so had to make sure. Oh, hush. I mean, yes. Anyways, folks, as Kev points out, we reached a good break point here for our first endeavor into the Bradbury patch. Mm -hmm. So thanks for watching, and uh, Kev, will, Kev will be back to find more hostile neighbors next time. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching.